am going to give you information that you already know. Actually, you already know. You have uh, studied tenses right from the fifth, sixth standard. Yes, you know. But we have to devise some tenses. Now, what makes us tense the tenses? Why we are not able to uh, uh, that would make that sentence according to uh, the or the sometimes you have you made mistakes in making uh, the sentence in a proper structure. The most difficult uh, you find that in which tenses tense I should make the sentence. Yes or no? If I want to talk about uh, the just situation, the moment about the moment, then you have to use the present tense. If you want to talk about or if you want to share some stories of the past or your childhood, maybe of your school, then you should be able to say past tense. If you are going to talk about the plan you have made and that you are going to execute, then you must use future tense. So, how many tenses are there in English? There are three tenses. Which are they? The first one is the past tense. Okay? The past tense. The second is the present tense. And third one is the future tense. Now only we have three tenses in English. Only we have three tenses in English. Only, yes, but there are main types are the three tenses. Which are they? The past tense, the present tense and the future tense. Just now I told you that if you want to tell anything, just going on, then you are the, are the present moment, then you have to use the uh, present tense. If you want to tell something that you have already happened, then you have to use the past tense. And if you are going to narrate the things that are going to happen, then you use the but we are, these are the three main tenses, but again these tenses are divided into how many parts? Four parts. So they have the four subtitles, which are they? Now we will discuss about these tenses. Yes? Now what are the, what are the uh, four types of subtypes of the past tenses? Past tense, simple past tense, simple past tense. Second one is past continuous. Past continuous. Third one is past perfect. And fourth one is past perfect continuous tense. Okay? Now, when we do we talk about or when we talk about the present tense, then again, present tense is also divided into four categories, which are the simple present. Yes, simple present. Then we have present continuous. Then we have present perfect. And then we have present perfect continuous tense. <coughs> okay? Again, future tense is divided into four types. That is the simple future, the future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. How many tenses in total we have? Twelve tenses. How many? Twelve tenses. But do you know, out of the twelve tenses, we in speaking and in at the time of the writing, or when we use uh, tenses in sentence, actually we use eight tenses. Tens, uh, tenses sentence mainly, which are the the first three of past tense. That is simple past tense, then past continuous tense, past perfect tense. Of present three, uh, that is simple present, present continuous, present perfect. Of future three, uh, future two, uh, which are they? Simple future and future perfect. What are the remaining tenses then? Which are the remaining tenses then? The last one is that is of past perfect continuous days. Then we have present perfect continuous days. Then of future two, which are they? 
ఫ్యూచర్ అండి 